So why an e-reader and not a computer? Uh, well, talk to the teachers. Uh, the teachers don't want such invasive technology in their classroom. They want their kids concentrating on specific material and not having access to a multitude of messengers, emails, uh, surfing the web. They want them to focus. So a computer is quite disruptive in the classroom. An e-reader is not disruptive in the classroom. It's a book. It's 1,500 books, but it's still simply a book. One of the things about e-readers is that they're purpose-built for reading. They do nothing else. And so they do reading very well. They're very simple to learn. They're very simple to use. And you very quickly forget you're using a high technology device and you just get engaged in the story that's in front of you. The combination of the technology that's available today and um, uh, not just the, the sort of physical device of an e-reader, but everything that's happened with cell phones, uh, everything that's happened with, um, and, and everything that cell phones have brought along with them, you know, electricity and connectivity, we think that all of that kind of comes together in a pretty magical way that allows us and this World Reader Project to potentially have a bigger impact now than it ever could have had before. And so it's not as though we think, you know, it's sort of more or less important than, let's say, a health initiative or a food initiative. But we think it's a very valuable initiative and one that makes sense now uh, more than ever, one that might have a bigger impact now and be able to have a bigger impact now than it ever could uh, before.